Um, this first piece is uh, called I Am Shaheed. I said, all of us are actualizations of the Almighty. Awesome and all likely to adorn or as a brightness before buying into being belittled by beings of frequencies below 90. Beauty bestowed by blessings beyond binary boundaries. Bun Babylon become brave, be bold. Carve connections carefully. Craving companionship can cause calamity, don't. Dilly dally, delay and decisions will definitely disrupt your destination. Dreadful dogmas, diminishing destinies, described as deities, demanding duties. Establishing energies, enough empathy to emotionally elevate your enemies, ecstasy enhances everything, especially when entering entities, eventually fickle feelings fall far from the facade fabricated by forever, friendship forged from fears of facing fallacies, fictitious fantasies, famished families, grieving in this gentrification generation, greed generated by grounds getting gated, God given gifts gradually getting gutted, gangsters grabbing guns, how far has our hesitation helped heartlessness? Healed the hippocampus. HMP has hurt humans held hostage. Imagine ignoring the injustice imposed by incarceration. It's interesting. I immediately identify the institution, imprison the impoverished, isolate an insurgents just so the jury can judge. Join justice. Justify Judas's jealousy towards Jesus. Key word knowledge. Kids known for killing. 2K18 kind of keeps kings kneeling, Kemet lost, literally, leaving leaders looking like liars, logic left lethargic, listen, love lightens loads, so live lovingly, maniacal men make madness mandatory, money is meaningless, mesmerise many while manipulating a medulla, making nerves non-compliant, numb, nil, nothing, nada, narcissist nonsense, neutralise nature, necessity nullified by nihilism, neo. In a Nebuchadnezzar, only the one can open the orifice. The oracle offered options, omit or overcome. Abstain from oppressing one's optics. Oh. Overdose on oxygen. Prana penetrates the pineal perfectly. People prefer procrastinating, pretending power is physical. Psychological prisons patrol a person's purpose. The Pied Piper played this piccolo. Picture Pythagoras quietly quantifying questions by the quarry. There's quality and quantity in my quill. Quintessential rights removed rapidly, rewrite and rules of reality. Rotten relationships run, ravage, run away. Really? Running ruins realization, so stay secure. Seek serenity. Solitude solidifies when you surrender to the sanctum. This speech is serendipity. Take time. Treasure today. Think telepathically. Train the thalamus thoroughly. Unify universally. You're usually up your anus. That's an understatement. Ugly and unhappy. Unplug the umbilical. Utilize the unknown upper class or unrefined vent. Villains, vile as vermin, verily vacuum your vivid visions, validate your value, vulgar vessels are vague and vitalize virtually in a vortex, variety in volumes, weighed in a water. Why was whitewashing what was whipped world and workers welcome with warrant while we wonder when will Wakanda weaponize its warriors? Where's Wally wealthy worshipped with the wrath of war weighing woefully X chromosomes are the X factor when engaging in XXX? Why making us X men? But they want to keep that X rated. You yearn to yank yourself from yesterday. Years ago, you were younger. Youthfulness only in yearbooks, yes, YOLO, but don't yo-yo. Yield yin and yang inside of the yoni. Youngling zoned in a zygote with zero zil for Zion. Loving the motherland is central to my point like Zaire. Warriors clan together like the Zulu. All we need is zen. Don't sleep on anything I've said from A to Z. And that was called I Am Shaheed. <laughs> there is like six people in the studio right now. This is hilarious. Um, cool, so... This is what we're doing with live performances right now, so still have some fun with it. This next piece is called uh, Ex-Girlfriend Material, and I'll let you figure out why after I perform it. I was like, don't sweat her. Just because you see guys trying to jump her, it doesn't mean that she suits you. I mean, they've all tried to get a leg in. She likes a bad boy. So if you don't ride around in that skirt or carry that iron, then you won't get to press it. Forget it. If you always have to fight to make up, it doesn't matter how you dress it up. Things won't change if you don't address it. You won't be able to mend the fabric of your existence. So what? You've been stitched up too many times to get this worn out. This narrative's torn up. All she does is hand me down the things that she don't want. How can I objectify 
always agree with her. She always treats me average, so I don't know what I mean to her. She's living life large, no, extra large. But while I'm in my medium, there'll be no more small talk. I want to see underwear. She hides all her private things. I've got some stuff I need to get off my chest, brah. I asked you to keep it real from the start, so why front? We could have just kept things brief. I know you've seen defeat in the past, but does that mean I have to train her? I don't even feel her. Why converse when all stars collapse in the end? All we do is go round in circles. That's loop, loop until we pull apart and it gets too tight to walk, let alone make love. When we go out, she always wants to act fake hair. That's lace front. It's funny, because she wants a top man with a new look so she could go look new to give man top. But... We'll just say she's a good girl overall. When it comes to the bottom, don't invest in a tight squeeze. Sure, this might feel like the right fit, but it's all in the genetics and she doesn't look like she comes with the right genes. Her ego doesn't fit in rooms. She's always trying to press your buttons until you're forced to zip it up. So what, now you think you're cuffed? It's going to make a difference. One, your souls don't align. Two, she's prepared to give man the boot. So listen up. She's telling other guys to suck it to me in the morning while you're fixing brunch. When it comes to you, go boss up and pick that black girl magic. But be warned, just because her skin tone doesn't mean that all black girls have it. She's a Barbie. Plastic. She wants cash, mere mention of money. She does backflips. You've done everything in your power to keep her from being cold. You even gave her all your jackets. Now her body warmer than yours. Of course you feel like you're slacking. From day one, she's had you in a bag. Now you're the one backpacking. That's why I'll never let another Zara get to me using Claire's accessories. Sure, your next lace, Tiffany, but... You've done put everything in jeopardy. You've opened up Pandora's box, see pretty little things, end up crying boo-hoo because the dreams sold online are all fake. I mean, some of these women have admirable features and some are just haters and can't wait to reveal Victoria's secrets. French kissing might taste sweet, but that's just a bunch of crock. You don't know Lacoste or the type of person you're dealing with. Stop before you get lost in a frock. This is just a note to self. Before you end up getting lost in labels and tags, remember it can get serial. Just make sure you scan and check things out before you end up feeling that ex-girlfriend material. Thank you very much. Cool. So this last piece, um, going to end on a sad note because I can. Uh, uh, so this one is kind of a, it's a deeper piece um, about toxic masculinity, mental health, um, and a whole load of other heavy topics that are very difficult and uncomfortable to discuss, but yeah, poetry, you can speak about anything. Um, cool. Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe. That means the way the lion walks, the way the lion is, the way the lion be. Redemption. I seek counsel from my brethren. I hide my tears from the henchmen. The protectors protect us, but who will protect them? Who can help you be your truest self? I created a protective shelf for myself and my father decided to use the belt to abuse my health. So I decided to be more by feeling less. That's the closest route to hell. I no longer want to walk around it. What's the point in being able to use all of these words but not talk about it? On the outside, I appear to seem cool. But inside my mind, I'm at war for hours. If I let any of this out, I might be called a coward. It's always been in my jeans, way before I ever even wore the trousers. I stayed closed off. Felt so ashamed of myself. How could I take my clothes off and be naked before God? Bare my soul like the bottom of the things that I walk on. And how come they never taught us that our feelings would be abandoned and made to become orphans, that we would have to foster care in order to protect our organs? The heart can only ever take so much. And being a man in this world can only ever make you cautious. I thought I had to lie to be flawless. Beating up anybody who tried to defy me was important. I never thought this would be my life. What a calling. Sometimes I want to scream. You don't know what it's like to be me. I don't want to be the way that I am. But this is the only way that I could be real and be me. And why do I feel like I want to commit suicide? It would be so easy to just use a knife, one slice to reduce the whys, because I'm useless. I will never amount to anything except a, youth, a useless guy. I've been this way since I was a youth, so I might as well just be euthanized, worthless. No purpose having, per no purpose having person. You can never get close to a female, because all you'll ever do is just hurt them. Vermin. No one could ever love such a person. You probably wouldn't even deserve it. So weak inside, you're actually hurting. You can't even commit to death. 
you only think about it. So really, you're just actually flirting, toying with the notion of actually getting close. But when you do, you just get stage fright and end up peeping through the curtain. Father, please. I was made in your image, so how could you not look at me as a masterpiece? Because a part of you is in a part of me, so how could you beat yourself up when you're trying to look after me? I mean, how could you beat me up and then say you're trying to look after me? And my mother was way too in love to ever see that you were harming me, so we smiled in photos and lived in harmony. I guess she never interrupted enough for you to ever pardon me. Pardon me. It's like... You have to go to the darkest depths to realize that your past has left. Harboring feelings can leave you shipwrecked and unsure if you treasure your heart and chest. Because I never got to express that child within me. I used to be full of so much sunshine and whimsy and I smiled with whimsy. But I will no longer be the shell of a man. Because once upon a time I fell, but I stand before you as more than my emptiness and my soul seeks redemption. I will not stop till I get everything back because I was lied to. Robbed of the source of my power because my father told me boys do not cry. True. Because men cry. With their heads held high. And that's taken forever to put me in the right mood. Sometimes I want to feel how I felt in my dreams. But the hardest part is to forgive myself and believe that I can feel more and be more. And that's truly being wealthy for me. I'm in desperate need of some therapy. Some energy mixed with some empathy is the only remedy that can ready me for my destiny. Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe. I waited for years for all my thoughts to be free. To return to myself before all the deceit. Now I'm just trying to walk and be like the lion that they never taught me to be. Thank you very much. <laughs>